Uh, any questions about anything so far? Yard space too. What's that? Sometimes industrial clients require yard space. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And if yeah, yard. and if they um, if they do have dock space, there does have to be enough room for the trucks to turn around, all those kind of things. Yeah. And if they're if they're doing a whole lot of um, trucks in and out, asphalt gets torn up, so they usually like concrete, steel reinforced concrete there where the trucks load. And there's also all these restrictions where the trucks load and unload with like, where gas and oil, so there has to be like this fire suppression system. There has to be like a sump system that is not connected to the sewer. And there's a lot of things involved with industrial that you don't have with other buildings, okay? But normally, if there was something, usually, all this infrastructure things, or even in older buildings, is usually already there. Because usually, if trucks were, you know, in and out before, even if it was, you know, a warehouse for toys, it can now be a warehouse for, you know, iPhones. It doesn't matter. It just needs to be cleaned up and, you know, redone. But the, the main thing they want is they want to know that they have enough space because they want to be efficient. They would, they would rather go tall and stack as much. There's another thing called <coughs> just-in-time inventory in this where a lot of um, manufacturers and retailers they don't want to keep a bunch of stock so basically they time it so that they get stuff just when they need it okay because they don't want to be storing a bunch of stuff so that's why the whole distribution system thing works um, some of these um, uh, Amazon and some some of the other retailers some of their big huge uh, distribution um, centers might have one or two employees in the whole 50, 100,000 square feet. It's all robotic. Mm -hmm. Gets in orders, the thing just goes around, picks, it's like, there's like nobody working there. Another big um, use for these warehouse space now, because of the e-commerce, the internet and all that, besides space to store things and distribute, they also need all these big uh, server warehouses for their storage. Amazon is making almost money off of selling storage space to other big companies as they do for cloud. Well, I've seen a lot of like cold storage facilities being coming out too with all like the uh, groceries and such, yeah. the whole food. Those are cold big storage things. is different than server yeah. storage. So it's, but the other thing, the two that they have in common is they have to have a lot of chilling capacity, which is a lot of like air conditioning and a lot of electric. And they get a lot of that electric by uh, solar. They put a lot of these in the Inland Empire and Salt Lake City and all those places because they can generate a lot of their needs for their electrical needs by the solar panels on top. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. That's so that's like all data centers and server farms. Those are, you know, big in this. Nice. And I mean, all the people that are putting up, you know, wind farms and solar farms, they use, you know, industrial type real estate agents to go and find that raw land too because they want to be out where the sun is, but they also need to be close enough where they can like tie in to some existing, you know, uh, electrical, uh, you know, grids and things like that, so. All right, so how much time we got left? About 10. Okay. All right, anybody have any questions? No, you guys know everything about industrial? Okay, I told you guys before, what is the designation in the People with the, the best experts in this field, what is the designation for that? It's the S-R-L-I? Close. S-I-O-R. S-I-O-R. <laughs> Society of Industrial and Office Realtors. It is the toughest designation to get because you can't just go and apply for it. You have to be nominated by a fellow SIOR member and you have to have another designation like CCIM or CPM. You have to have one of those other ones just to you know, take the test to qualify for this one. So, but it originally was just industrial. Then they added office afterwards. But those are the, uh, you know, those are the only two assets they do and they are, you know, yeah, they are the experts on, uh, on uh, those asset classes. What did the SIOR stand for? Society for Industrial and Office Realtors. Okay. 
All right. Anybody have any other questions? Okay. Thanks for coming, guys.